Hey everybody, today is Tuesday and this is exciting because so many of the math videos you've watched so far have been from last year because I did all of these lessons from home last year, but I did not do these lessons from home last year. So I can like call out your names if I want. I mean, I probably won't, but I could. All right. So this is for the grade three class of 2020 and 2021. That's right. This one's for you guys. Today, we're starting a new unit, and it is a totally brand new unit because it just got added to our curriculum, and it is called coding. Now, coding is just uh, the language that computers use to do the things that computers do. So every single thing that a computer does, it has to be coded into the computer. Uh, and that language that we would use to talk to a computer and make it do what we want it to do is called coding. So you're going to be learning computer language a little bit over the next couple of weeks. To start today, you're going to go to the schedule, and I'm going to share that with you. Uh, this is the one we want. So you're going to come over to, this is not the one we want. I lied. Let me try that again. We are going to go to, no, this is the one we want. No, it's not. This is the one we want. Okay. I hope you can see this one. So this is where we're going. You are going to click this link. So in your weekly schedule, it says studio.code.org, right? This is where you need to click. And when you click there, it is going to take you directly to the website. And I'll show you what that looks like as well. So it's going to take you right to this website and you see all of the names of the kids in our class along here. Big surprise, you're going to click on your own name. I'm going to click on test because I am testing this for you. And then you're going to click on your picture. So I sent you uh, a, a note, I think it was just on Google Classroom to let you know what picture is your password picture. Click on that. Uh, mine is a bird. There we go. Click sign in. Now, once I have signed in, here's what I'm going to do. It's going to look like this. It'll say course C at the top. Uh, we're going to go down to here. It says sequencing. Uh, and today, because we're getting started, you're going to start by doing number three. It's a little video for you to watch. So you're going to do that. Uh, and then you're going to start um, number four. So this is programming with Angry Birds. I don't know if you guys have ever played Angry Birds on like an iPad or an iPhone or something. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's basically you use a slingshot to shoot birds at pigs because that makes sense, but it's a lot of fun. So if you've never played it, you should probably try that sometime. Anyway, today we're going to be telling the computer what to do so that our angry birds can destroy the pigs. So you're going to start by clicking the number one to watch the video. I'm not going to watch that with you right now, but I will show you with number two how we're going to practice. So here is what your page is going to look like. You're going to drag these blocks together. Ooh, and they were supposed to be apart, but I've already done this once. I tried videotaping this lesson beforehand. It did not work, so we're trying it again. Right now, these blocks are separate. They need to be stuck together. So I'm going to start by moving them together. You'll hear that little click noise when they're clicked together. When my blocks are stuck together, I'm going to click the run button and watch what happens. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So my angry bird just destroyed the pig. Yay. I can replay, do it again, or I can go to my next puzzle. All right. Uh, again, you are going to drag these together. Now, we're only on part three. You're going to get all the way to the end of this lesson today. And that's all you need to do today. It's sort of easy. It's kind of fun. But this is something that you guys need to learn how to do. A lot of it is thinking about directions uh, and just planning things out on a grid, on like a map. So have fun today. And yes, we will talk to you guys later. Bye.